Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Rasmus Mundus Joint Master's Program. Hello again. Thank you so much for clicking the video. My name is Dorothy and I'm an Erasmus student. I'm an Erasmus master student. And so I decided to do the video to actually help you navigate through the whole process since I, I have gone through the process and I have been awarded a scholarship. So let's just go straight into the video. I have with me my daughter and I also have my laptop stationed right here because I do not want to miss any point any important points because every single point is important or pivotal to the whole discussion and planning on how to apply for a scholarship and so yes basically the Erasmus Windows Joint Masters program is an international scholarship scheme that is um, funded by the European Union and uh, is awarded to students best student candidates who apply for programs under the um, joint masters program or scheme and so what happens is that there's a list of programs that are opened applications are opened for those programs and students who have a first degree or more so students who are eligible to undertake a master's degree or a master's program are expected to apply for those programs and after your application, the best candidates are selected and awarded the scholarship. And what the scholarship covers is your participation fees or your participation costs. So that is your tuition fee, access to library and a laboratory, your full health insurance and travel insurance. Also, you get monthly stipends. Um, yeah, it depends on where you are but you get monthly stipends and then also your travel costs I mean, the cost you incurred when you were getting ready to move to your first country the country you'd be studying in the European country you'd be studying in the travel cost would be fully catered for and so yeah that is really awesome those like are the perks of being a scholarship awardee yes who can apply so before i even talk about that i must say that there are, there are a lot over 2500 fully funded masters apps for grabs under the erasmus Mundus joint masters program i'm sure you've heard about it or if this is your first time hearing about it well please listen carefully so that you can apply and then get it like on your first try but if you're already you already know this information then yeah cool there are a lot of masters up for grabs slots scholarship slots and so you have to really be strategic when you're applying for the scholarship students from every part of the world can apply for the scholarship students everywhere worldwide you can apply from anywhere you just have to like find the program you'd like to apply for look at the requirements check the deadlines apply and then you'd get the chance to be selected amongst the what's it, considered the best candidates a list of best candidates from all over the world and yes you get a scholarship you come and study and get paid to study so i spoke about a list or a catalog earlier i'll be leaving the link in the description down so please check it and then follow the link and then you we'll get to the catalog that i was speaking about that's the list of programs that are available and you should know that most of the programs open the applications between let's say late september late october late october to january february that is when like the application is open and will be closed around that January, February, around that time. And so you should currently the I'm sure they are even they've started even announcing winners for 
2022 intake and so what you should what we should start doing or what we should what we should start doing is start gathering a document start making the right um, decisions and plan plan ahead for the next application window when it's opened then we just apply i think it's better to apply early be part of the first hundred students that will apply for the program and so for the program of your choice so the application you can start now even though of course the selection results are being announced it's best that we actually start applying now start gathering your documents it's very very important we'll be talking about the documents in the next or this other episodes or series of this video series also one point you should also note is that each year some programs are taken out and some programs are added so you might not find let's say my program you may not find my program there now because it has been removed you understand some programs are removed and some programs are added and um, so you cannot bank on is that okay my friend applied for this one so you just have to like watch and pray keep watching the space when it's open confirm please confirm because it will be sad for you to actually gather information or gather documents related to a program and then you, when it, the application portals are open you find out that they are no more part of the list of programs it will really be serious you have to take note of that some programs come in some programs are removed each year so you have to focus on like the one you want of course but also make sure that it is still a part of the list in the year you'll be applying on during the time you'll be applying for the program or the scholarship so that'll be all for today's video this is just an introduction of the erasmus mundo scholarship i just wanted to give you that introduction so that you know a little about if this is like your first time hearing about the erasmus mundo joint masters program or scholarship then this yeah just want you to just get introduced to the whole system so the next videos will be in depth the, we'll talk about the criteria we're going to be talking about the required documents and other things that you actually need to know before wow. we have enough time to actually plan and get you that scholarship so yeah that'll be all for today thank you so much for watching the video to this point thank you thank you so much i am if you believe this information was useful please leave a like please subscribe to the channel leave a comment i want to hear from you what do you think other um, Ghanaian erasmus scholars or other erasmus scholars if you have any information you want to add to this video you can always leave a comment down below so that others can benefit when like they are reading the comments and also watching the video thank you so much for your attention and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.